Yeah, that's the Rex. So what did you think of it then, Will? Yeah, it's interesting. It's different, isn't it? Uh, psychedelic folk. Yes. What did you see that it on their site, or did oh, is that your description well, of it? I've because it's pretty close to how they described themselves. Yeah, well, I've I've been trying to uh, track them down on Twitter because this is this is um this, just to explain, Fred. This is this is um a very social media aware show. Yes, it is. Um, John here disappears every so often from Facebook and other places, <laughs> but he's back at the moment. I'm back on Facebook at the moment. And um, look up your daughters. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we um, <coughs> we sort of decided on Twitter because we work with uh, the Wild Show, which is in the same time slot now on tomorrow. Okay. So we'll talk to them about. Um, so but, do, I mean, it's you're you're the social media expert, which I most certainly aren't. Uh, go, what, go close. Sorry, to the sorry about that. I'm moving across here. Yeah, yeah. You're the, you're the social media expert. Well, we, we have is Twitter the, the big thing, or is there? Well, uh, there was other other well, uh, no, apparently platforms. Not. Well, I think I think Facebook is probably the, a good one. Right. I, I don't know. I, did, I recently did um, did some video on on the rushes. All uh, oh, right. Well, of them busking. Yes. And they they did a a song about the European Union. And I, I know you you're actually in. Uh, am I right in thinking you're you you are a Brexit supporter? Fred? Oh, one hundred percent. Well, yes. that, that I, was, I was a Brexit supporter before Brexit came around, but yes. <laughs> well, just in the interests of balance, I ask you okay. this question because they 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 were upset by some Brexit supporters who oh, were making well, rather, no. rather a lot of rather a lot of sound, disturbing the busking environment. One of my best friends that has been a friend with me for years and years and years, actually an author. Um, he, he's very anti-Brexit. I mean, he's as passionately anti-Brexit as I am passionately Brexit. We still get on. We will occasionally throw barbs at each other, but we still love each other. And I think <coughs> that's the way you've got to approach these things. At the end of the day, what happens happens. The individual's got very little say in it. Uh, if it works out well, fantastic. If it works out badly, well, it works out badly. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, you've got to right. respect other people's views. I mean, a lot of a lot of uh, my friends who are uh, anti-Brexit work within industries that get money from Europe. Uh, a friend of mine works in research and he's very concerned that, that you know, that, that the money's going to dry up, he's going to lose his job and, you know, it, it's going to impact his family. So I understand why he's against it. You know, there, there is a very good argument on both sides. However, in my opinion, the dice has been thrown. Mm. We've, we've, you know, We've, we've decided what we're going to do. We haven't decided how we're going to do it, but we've decided what we're going to do. Well, I reckon I, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they had another um, referendum. I don't think they will. I don't think they will because... It well, they haven't be decided to do it yet, have they? Uh, well, depends. I mean, May seems to think that she has. I mean, <laughs> well, I, don't, yeah, but she, I really don't agree she, with her deal she, at all. She... she, she she thinks she says one. They say one thing on the news, and then they and then they say <laughs> another thing. So they can't seem to make their minds up as it is. But I don't think they know really what they're doing. Half the Conservative Party want one thing, and the other half want another. And poor old May is in the middle, trying to hold it all together. Well, and I, I don't yeah. know you're. Can I just say that other political parties are available? <laughs> yeah, well, and this, well, this idea that it's just to sort of now some internal discussion hey, with the Conservative Party. Anyway, yes. look, I don't really want to get into <laughs> all of this. Let's talk about politics. <laughs> well, you all, I want, all I wanted to explain was yes. Uh, that upset as they were by uh, a, a rather loud Brexit supporting uh, stall. I mean, next to High Street, you know, you're within limits, you're allowed to say what you like. Uh, but the busking fraternity do have a views about uh, who's making most noise at which time. Anyway, they did a quick song about the in favour of the European Union, yeah. and said that they only wanted people dancing to it who agreed with the sentiment of the lyrics, which I thought was pushing their luck a bit. Because anybody, if you're going to alienate people, well, well, you shouldn't in music. You, but by all means, have an opinion, but don't alienate people. That's a great way of people not buying your product. Well, you might think. Anyway, they what what I can now reveal is that they have they've they've. Um, They've, they've sort of mellowed their point of view to the, to the extent that if you do buy a ticket for their next gig, which is December 8th at the Phoenix, I'm not sure if they're going to play that song, but everybody is welcome and will be regarded as friendly but that is just by being good there. Good marketing. <laughs> so you approve of that? 
Well, yeah, was it 18 million that they would they'd be excluding from their gig? I mean, that's quite a large revenue, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, I, I think that they're entitled to their opinion, definitely. But if they, they go out to exclude people, then they're going to come a cropper because people are going to have a, a reaction to it. Anyway, uh, what the, where I started with all this a little while ago was yeah. uh, they took a little clip out of my video and I think my, my, my version on YouTube, which I think is quite a successful social media platform, has had about 25 views and mm. their Facebook page has had about 800. Yeah. So Facebook must be doing well. Yeah, but they're a good band as well. They've probably got followers I might not agree with their political views, <laughs> but they are a good band. So, I, you know, at the end of the day, yeah. So it's hard to tell, really, where, where we should be. No, I, I just wondered, I mean, Facebook's been around for quite a while. If, if, 